Okay, this video is going to cover top-heavy rationals. Top-heavy rationals are probably the most difficult to deal with because most of the other rationals, they have just like a horizontal asymptote and vertical asymptotes. Um, but top-heavy rationals are going to have what's called a slant asymptote and vertical asymptotes. So that's what makes them a little more challenging. Everything else is kind of still the same, though, in terms of finding vertical asymptotes, in terms of finding x-intercepts, y-intercepts, and holes. That's all the same. So hopefully you'll be able to do most of it. You know, it's just the slant that'll kind of throw you a problem. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one, I get my vertical asymptote from the denominator here. So that's at zero. Got a vertical asymptote at zero. I get my x-intercepts from factoring the top and solving for zero. Well, this one doesn't factor nicely on the top, so I'm not gonna look for any x-intercepts right now. Y-intercept from plugging in zero for x. If you do that, you'll get divide by zero. So we will not have a y-intercept, uh, which makes sense because there's a vertical asymptote here anyways. Now, the hard part is finding this slant asymptote. You have to do long division. So if you have not already seen my video on long division, you might want to go watch it right now before you go any further. Because if you don't know how to do long division, you're not going to be successful at top-heavy rationals. But it would look something like this. Once I get to the plus one here, I stop because I don't care about doing the rest of this and getting remainder, et cetera. I just care about MX plus B kind of line. So negative X plus one would look something like this. So now I've got my vertical asymptote and I've got my slant asymptote. I just need to graph the line. Well, I don't have very much information in terms of um, where this line should be, like if it should be like here or something. I don't really know. So what I'm gonna do is plug in a coordinate. Like I'm just gonna plug in three into this. You would get negative 27 plus nine plus four over nine. So let's see, that's negative 14 over nine. So you get like negative one and a half almost. This right here, just that green dot, tells me how to graph this line. Because I know on this vertical asymptote, those arrows are gonna have to be the same on either side because it's a square. So from this green dot, I would just do something like this. So the key takeaway here is, Notice how instead of leveling off at my horizontal asymptote like before, we level off at the slant asymptote. That's one of the main takeaways. And I was able to do this right here because of this x squared. That asymptote tells me those arrows go the same direction. Hope that wasn't too confusing. Let's look at the next one. Um, the next one, the first thing I would realize is there's a hole at an x value of two. Uh, I should write it somewhere else. To find out where that hole is, you have to plug in two into the remaining part of your equation. So it'd look like this. So I'm gonna have a, a hole at two comma negative nine fourths. We'll call that here. Okay, moving right along. I would go get my vertical asymptotes next. Um, you would get it from right here. This X plus two would mean I have a vertical asymptote at negative two. So this vertical asymptote is X equals negative two. And then I would have to get my slant asymptote. So I'm going to have to do division. Now, when I do division on this, I'm going to do division on only the part that remains. So this part and this part and the negative one, not the whole that I crossed out. So the top, you're going to have to FOIL that out. You're going to have to do x plus 1 squared, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And you're doing long division on 
distribute the negative one to that x plus two on the bottom. This right here, you're distributing that negative one to the x plus two, so it's negative x minus two. All right, now do long division on this. When you do this, both of these are going to cancel. And so um, you'll just like drop the one next and that won't happen. So the equation of my the equation of my asymptote here is just negative x, y equals negative x. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Now the last thing to do is to get your x intercept. Your x intercept is going to be from right here at negative one. And it's a bounce there because you have a square. So just this right here is enough for me to graph this line. I would have to come up like this, bounce off that x intercept, hit the hole, and level off at my slant asymptote. And then this vertical asymptote at negative two. Notice it's only a power of one. That means my arrows are going to be oppo, which means I can draw an arrow up here, and then I'll have to level off at my slant asymptote like that. Okay, this last one. Um, the first thing that I would do is I would look for a hole. There's not a hole, and so I would just go get my vertical asymptotes at negative four and at positive four. So we'll call that here and here. So that's x equals negative 4 and x equals positive 4. I got that from right here. Okay, now I would go get um, the x-intercepts. So this one, the, the x-intercepts come from the top. So I've got one at 0, 2, and negative 1. So one here at 0, one at 2, and one at negative 1. 